Our new details tonight regarding that controversial arrest in Galveston. You've likely seen it by now, the image that shows an African-American man being led by a rope by officers on horseback. The new development coming out of Galveston today, the Texas Rangers will now investigate the actions of those officers, and so will the Galveston County Sheriff's Office. Channel 2's Bill Spencer spoke to the city manager, one of the people who called for a broader investigation. Bill. Yes, Keith, this story all started this past weekend when Donald Neely, essentially a Galveston homeless man, was arrested for trespassing for essentially sleeping outside of a public building he had been told not to go to. Now, the image of his arrest afterwards has been circulated worldwide. It's an image now being shared across the globe. The picture of 43-year-old Donald Neely being led through the streets of Galveston on a rope by two Galveston police officers riding on horseback. When they dragged Donald Neely down that road by horses and rope, it was like they were dragging our entire community. Galveston City Manager Brian Maxwell agrees. The image has cast Galveston in a very negative way. Brian, I think almost anybody would agree that the optics of this thing are terrible. I mean, a black man being led down the street in blazing heat with a rope around him being led by two cops on horses. What is your personal feeling about what happened here? It's, it's disturbing. It's very upsetting to me personally. Now Maxwell has called on Galveston's police chief to launch two separate third-party investigations into the arrest of Donald Neely and the actions of those officers. But the third party, uh, the third parties of the Texas Rangers who will be looking at it to determine if there are any criminal aspects to this whatsoever. And we've involved the Galveston County Sheriff's Office and, and Sheriff Trossaset, who's going to look at it more from a procedural and administrative standpoint to see if there were any policies violated, if there was any procedures not followed, or if there are better policies and procedures that we need to implement to keep this from happening again. Now, as for Donald Neely, nobody has heard from him up to this point, but he is planning to hold a press conference along with his attorney. It's going to happen this coming Monday morning. It'll happen here in Galveston. Uh, we will bring you the news as soon as that happens. Of course, we'll be streaming it online as well. Again, the location of that press conference and the time yet to be set. Reporting live in Galveston, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Bill.